Hey, what's going on everyone and welcome back to another game collecting video. So every year I do these videos once a year and that's showing my entire game collection. So yeah, this one's going to be pretty different from last year because I have actually gone out of my way to collect a ton of games um, this time around. Um, but yeah, but something we're doing a little bit different this year is for the past three years, I think. Um, I've been showing my digital Switch games along with my physical Switch games, but I'm not going to do that. Um, the reason why I was doing it before is because most of my Switch games are digital. Uh, but I'm not going to do that this year, I'm only going to show off my physical stuff. So yeah, um, that's that. I guess we should just get started, so let's see here. You know what? Let's start with the PS2. We always start with PlayStation, unless you get the boring stuff out of the way. Now, the PS2 stuff could be fun. But, I don't own <laughs> good PS2 games, that's the thing, so let's get started here. Actually, this one's pretty good. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4. I'm pretty sure this one's a, you know, a liked game. I haven't played it too much, uh, but I've heard people like it. Uh, so yeah, this is actually a decent one I have. Um, I haven't really played it that much though, so I can't really say anything about that. I guess I'll just put this right here. Spider-Man on the PS2, um, another one that I think a lot of people like. I haven't really played it too much, I think I played it when I was like three years old, maybe? <laughs> but, uh, I think people like this game, I think this is, uh, known as a classic by many, but I'll have to try it out someday. Just never got around to playing it myself. A lot of these games I haven't really played too much, like this one here, Gran Turismo 3. Another one I haven't really played, I've probably played it before, I just don't remember, because it's been a very long time. Um, but, again, this is another game that I feel like people might like. Gran Turismo, the series, is pretty good. Um, so, you know what? People might like this game, but, again, I'm not sure. I guess I'll just have to find out by playing these games. Alright, here's some games that I've actually played before. Sonic Heroes, very overrated game, and I know I did not play the PS2 version. I have the PS2 version, but I've played the PC version with the upgrades and stuff. And I still don't like this game. This game is very overrated, and I think it's just not fun at all. I don't see why people like this game so much. I don't like it. Probably the most overrated Sonic game, if you ask me. I think Sonic 06 is better than this game. I really do not like Heroes. I don't know why, I just do not like it. Maybe the gameplay, I don't know. Oh, here's an even worse game. Shadow the Hedgehog. This is basically Sonic Heroes, if somebody took a massive crap on it. I don't like this game. I, you know what? The story is okay. It's confusing. It's disorganized, but I like the edginess, kinda. The actual gameplay is a headache. It's so bad. I <laughs> Playing this on the PS2 was not the best decision either, but it was all I had, really. Um, I might try this on Dolphin or something again, just to see if I like it better, but a lot of people don't like this game, and I'm just one of those people. I hate Shadow the Hedgehog, dude. It's such a bad game. Oh, here we go, an all-time classic, Wheel of Fortune for the PS2, I haven't played this game. It might be good, I cannot see how it would be good, but it might be good. But I guess we'll leave that all up to mystery, because I'm not playing that. So those are all my PS2 games. Um, I do have like a ton of sports games and stuff that I try to keep out of there, because they're not even my games. Uh, but I just have them on my shelf, but, you know, I'm not going to show those games, because I have nothing to say about them. Alright, I guess we should move on to the PS3. Uh, yeah, we'll just get all the PlayStation stuff out of the way. I think that's a good idea. Alright, let's do that. PS3. PS3. Here we go. First up, Persona 5. I actually bought this game right before Persona 5 Royal came out. So, I stopped playing this game to play that game pretty much. And I think I've played around 5 hours of this or so. And it's the same thing as Royal, just Royal has a bit more story in it. Um, but, Persona 5, you know what, I liked it for maybe hmm, the first hour or so, but then it started getting repetitive as I got to, like, the second palace. I'm not a fan of the whole turn-based RPG stuff, I think, but, you know what, if this is your thing, then go for it, man. It's, like, 300 hours long or something crazy like that, so, if you like super long games and you need a time waster, then here you go, this is for you. But I do like the art style, though. That's something I do like. Ratchet and Clank Future, A Crack in Time. Another game that I did not play, but I think... Actually, I think I have played this before. But it came bundled with the PlayStation, so I didn't really play it too much. Um, but I heard... I, you know, Ratchet and Clank is a pretty, you know, reputable series. Um, 
the 2016 game on uh, PS4, the reboot. That was pretty good. I liked that and Rift Apart. But uh, this one, I have nothing to say because, again, you know, a lot of these games I haven't really played. Um, but yeah, Ratchet and Clank Future. All right, what's next? Little Big Planet Game of the Year Edition. I haven't played this much either. I have played like the first level, um, and it's fun. You know, Little Big Planet's super fun. Um, I don't know what the Game of the Year Edition includes. Probably the bonus content, but I think this was another game that came bundled with the PS3. But this game is fun. I haven't played much of it, but it's fun. All right, here we go. We're at the Sonic games now. Let me. Let me put these in order here, starting with this one. Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing. This was the Sonic Racing game that I think I played the least. No, Team Sonic Racing is definitely the one I played the least. Um, well, this one's still good. I don't think it's as good as Transformed, of course, but it's still fun, I guess. But at the end of the day, this was really just a Mario Kart clone with a bunch of Sega characters. And that's something that is missing from Team Sonic Racing is all the other Sega characters in here. I think that really added on to it. Um, but yeah, this game's pretty fun, I guess. I might try it out again. I did buy it again recently. This is that copy just to complete my collection. But uh, yeah, uh, I think it's decent. I think it's pretty good. Sonic 06. I think this game is also decent. I don't think this game is too terrible. I think it's like a 5 out of 10. I think it's just average. On the PS3, it kind of sucks because it's laggy all the freaking time. Uh, but on Xbox, it's not too bad. I don't think this game is the worst game ever made. I just think it's kind of mediocre. It's kind of mid. Um, but I do think it's better than Heroes because I, don't, I just don't like Heroes. But uh, I, I don't think this game is too terrible. I cannot see myself replaying it anytime soon. Um, but I don't think it's that bad. Sonic Unleashed. Probably the best Sonic game, man. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm, Werehog stuff aside, the daytime stages are so fun. Um, and this game is even better on Xbox Series S, uh, where you can get like 60 FPS or whatever. So, But I did play it on PlayStation for the longest time. And it's still good on PlayStation, it just doesn't run well at all. But Sonic Unleashed, probably my favorite Sonic game. Absolute masterpiece. Another masterpiece, Sonic Generations. Um, this is probably in my top five? I don't know, maybe. Yeah, it's probably my top five Sonic games. I love this game, too. Really fun game. Classic Sonic is okay. Modern Sonic, just a blast, man. Really fun game. There's not really much else going for it besides the gameplay. There's not really much story um, to write home about, but it's a good game. Really fun game. If you're starting, like, with Sonic games, I would go with Sonic Generations or Sonic Colors, probably, because... Those games are just fun. Alright, so I'll put those to the side. And now we're moving on to PS4. I guess that's next up. Alright, what do we got? Alright, here we go. PS4 games. Starting with Persona 5 Royal. This was this is basically Deluxe Persona 5. And I stopped playing Persona 5 to start playing this game. Then I played this game for around 10 hours maybe. And I didn't like it. I got to the second palace, I think, and just not my thing. Again, I've already said all this with the original Persona 5. It's the same thing that applies here. It's basically the same game. I don't like it. Not a fan. Team Sonic Racing. This is actually, like, trash. Like, I'm not even going to lie. This is so boring. It's so plain. Like, there's nothing going for it. It's such a, it's such a basic Sonic Racing game. The team mechanic on the surface sounds kind of neat, but it's not. It's dumb. So, yeah, Team Sonic Racing, definitely worse than all the other Sonic Racing games. It doesn't even have all the other Sega characters in it, it's just Sonic characters. Crap, crap man, it's crap. Don't like that game. Only played it like once or twice, maybe. Star Wars Battlefront 2, I actually played the full campaign of this game, and I like it. I like the campaign, it's just the multiplayer stuff with all the microtransactions, that was not good. But, the actual campaign, I actually played through it. Um, and it was actually not bad. I'm not playing it ever again, but it was not bad. Star Wars Battlefront, the first Star Wars Battlefront, or maybe this is like the reboot or something. And I say this like every time, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to freaking cut my finger on this box one day. I don't know why it came in this condition, but it's freaking broken. 
yeah, I don't. I, I haven't played this game. Not planning on playing it. Uh, I think we just got it because had the second one. Why not get the first one? I'm not playing this, but you know, any any Star Wars Battlefront reboot fans out there? I, I don't. I know for a fact that's not the original Battlefront. What's this? NASCAR Heat 2. This game was fun for two seconds. I'm not a fan of these sports games, man. Especially like NASCAR where you just drive in circles. I don't like it, man. Uh, but, you know, I have it for some reason. <laughs> there we go. Alright, here's a game that I thought I was going to like, but I didn't really like too much. Batman Return to Arkham and includes Arkham Asylum and Arkham City. I started playing Arkham Asylum and it was just a little too slow for my taste. I might try Arkham City. Um... Even though I'm pretty sure it's a continuous story, but I heard a lot of people liked Arkham City better, so I might try that. But Arkham Asylum just wasn't fun for me. Um, it was just so slow almost, but yeah, there's that. Kingdom Hearts, the story so far, includes all of this. <laughs> I only, on this collection, I only really played through the entirety of Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. Kingdom Hearts 2 is one of the best games ever made, in my opinion. It's in my top 10 games of all time. It was so good. But Kingdom Hearts 1, uh, it was good. I mean, I liked it, but I, it's Kingdom Hearts 2, man. Um, I, I started playing Birth by Sleep, and I don't like it. So I might just jump straight to Kingdom Hearts 3, because I, I tried playing all the spin-off games. Uh, what was the other one? Chain of Memories. Did not like it, so I might just jump straight to 3. Speaking of 3... Kingdom Hearts 3. I'm pretty sure this is a PAL copy. I don't know why I have that, but I have the game and it works. I started playing this game not knowing that there was a continuous story, so I started playing this game and I was like, what the heck is going on? So I just went and played the other games. And I'm pretty sure those other games are better than this. I'll have to play this again because so, I only played like two hours of it. But I'll have to play this again to see. But yeah, I got this game because, well... I, I, I didn't know you, you had to, to play the other games. Spider-Man for the PS4. I freaking love this game, man. This game is so much fun. I think I'm going to buy the remastered version just to play it in 60 FPS. I'm pretty sure I said that last year, too, but <laughs> I'm, I'm probably going to buy this game again. Uh, the remastered version, because this was freaking fun. This was very fun. Very fun game. I can't wait for Spider-Man 2 on the PS5. Cannot wait. Spider-Man Miles Morales, so this is also a really fun game. I think I like the gameplay in this one better because I think Miles has more moves than um, uh, Peter does. But another great game, really fun on PS5, swinging around with ray tracing and crap. Super fun stuff. Like this game a lot. Again, can't wait for Spider-Man 2, man. Cannot wait. And then we have you. Madden 21, I bought this game because I like football. But I do not like Madden, because... Oh my god, it sucks, dude. It sucks. I hate it. Do not like this game. And all the Madden... All the, probably, the older Madden games are probably pretty good. The newer ones suck, and this is no ex exception. So I don't know why I wasted my money on that, but... Those are all the PS4 games. And, yeah, we have like a few PS5 games, so... I'll only put those right there. So let's get the PS5 games going. Got a few PS5 games. Alright. Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. I like this game. I don't think it's a masterpiece, but it's fun. Just, you know, it's it, it's fun, man. It, it's visually really good looking. Um, but it's just a fun game, man. Um, I think I do like it better than Ratchet and Clank 2016. Uh, but it's just a good game. I, I mean, that's just it. I don't think it's great by any means, but it's just fun. It was fun, man. That's it. Just a fun game. Oh, yeah. Sonic Frontiers. What a masterpiece of a game. Nah, okay, now. Nah. <laughs> Not a masterpiece, but a really, really good game. I, I, this is the best Sonic game in years. I really like this game, and I and I like it so much I bought it twice <laughs> on PS5 and Steam. So yeah, I really like Sonic Frontiers, and I definitely recommend it to any new Sonic fans out there. Just at, playing anything after this game might be a little weird. But yeah, Sonic Frontiers, great game. Definitely what the series needed. The Last of Us Part 1 Remake or whatever. I haven't started playing this yet, but I'm, I really want to because I heard really good things about this so, and I got the remake for PS5 so I can get all the upgrading crap. I'm really excited to play this, so I might start playing it soon, but I, I just, I'm so excited to play this. 
And the final PS5 game, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 Plus 2. I got this game for fun. And I did not have fun. I, do, I don't like this game. I, I don't really care for it. Not, I mean, if this is your thing, go ahead. But I don't really like this one. That's just me, though. Alright, so that's the PS5 games done. So that's all the PlayStation stuff. Now we have all the Nintendo stuff. Alright, so I'm actually recording this the day after I recorded the original video because I just completely forgot to include these um, in the collection. And it's, I think, a pretty considerable part. Uh, considerable. I can't see. <laughs> I feel like... Alright, I got two Sega Genesis games here. I got Sonic the Hedgehog 1 and I got Sonic the Hedgehog 2. So, I got these games for a pretty decent price, actually, I think. So, yeah, it's just cool I have these in my collection because, you know, I want to at least one day get all of the classic Sonic games. Um, so I started with these two. Of course, because they're the cheapest, because Sonic 3 goes for a lot of money. But these did not, so yeah. They're both not for resale copies, I'm not quite sure what that means, but I have them. And it's cool that I have them. So, hmm, how do I want to do this? You know, okay, we'll start with the DS stuff, then we'll work our way up to the Switch. I think that sounds good. Alright, let's do it. Oh, let me get all the DS games. Alright. So, starting with... Sonic Rush. What a fun game, man. I want them to remaster this. I love Sonic Rush, man. Uh, shoot. Top 10, probably. But, it's such a fun game. It's just really fun. And the soundtrack is freaking fantastic. Sonic Rush Adventure. Unpopular opinion, but I think I like this better than Sonic Rush. I know it has a bunch of filler, but I still think I like it better. And the soundtrack, of course, is not as good. But I, I just like the aesthetic better, I guess. It has more like, I don't know, world building, I guess you could say. Sonic Classic Collection. So back in the day, this was a really cool way to play the four classic Sonic games, except for CD. But nowadays, I mean, it works. I'm pretty sure the audio is like ruined and the game slows down a lot, but it works. Sonic Colors on the DS. Not as good as the Wii version, but it's still fun. This is basically Sonic Rush 3. It has the same gameplay. Uh, but I do not... I, the Wii version is way better, dude. I don't know why people say that the DS version of Colors is better. It's not. It's really not. It doesn't even compare, if you ask me. It's probably just a nostalgia talking, but yeah. New Super Mario Brothers. Um, shoot. You know, I like this a lot. Probably... Uh, do I like it better than Mario U? I probably do. But one of the best new Super Mario Brothers games, I still think Wii is better. Well, this is just a classic. Really fun to run through every once in a while. I might even replay it again. Alright, Super Mario 64 DS. This is a weird one because it's not it's a full remake, but it adds so much stuff that it might as well just be like considered a deluxe version. Um, but I haven't played this one in a very long time. I usually just stick to normal Mario 64 on 3D All-Stars. Um, but I might try this one again because it has extra stuff in it. You get to play as Yoshi. Like, who doesn't like that? Mario Kart DS. So, okay. Uh, I haven't played this in God knows how long. But I think I remember it being good. It's been forever, though. So long since I've played Mario Kart DS. Actually, I think it's some people's favorite Mario Kart game, but I don't know. I haven't played it in forever. Oh, and finally, Team Umizumi. Why do I have this? I don't know why I have this. I probably tried to sell it, but they wouldn't take it. I mean, it could be like a hidden gem. Who knows? But huh? I mean, guess I'll keep it and sell it for three hundred dollars ten years down the line. Who knows? Maybe it's actually a pretty good game. Guess there's only one way to find out. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm not playing that. Alright, what's next? 3DS. Let's go with 3DS. Oh, I have a ton of 3DS games because I started buying a ton recently. Alright. Oh god, this is all going to fall out. Oh god. Alright. Pokemon X. The only Pokemon game I own that I've never played. I don't know why I own this. I think a friend gave it to me a while back. Never played it though. And I'm not a big fan of the Pokemon game, so I probably won't play it. Pokemon Moon! I really have nothing to say about this game because I didn't play that version. I played Pokemon Sun. And this is the only Pokemon game I actually, like, finished, or came close to finishing. I don't even think I ever beat the Elite Four or whatever at the end. But I actually had a, f I actually had a good time with this game. Um, but 
I mean, I, I won't really play it again. Uh, but it's it was fun, I guess. The only Pokemon game I really liked, and I know, I know. I know. Very unpopular opinion to call that game good, I think. Epic Mickey Power of Illusion. I'm pretty sure this is like Castle of Illusion on the Genesis. Which, in that sense, is kind of cool. I haven't really played it in forever. But it says Master the Power of Illusion. Yeah, it has like retro style levels and stuff. That's probably pretty cool. I might play it. Sonic Generations for the 3DS. Mm, I mean, this is a way to play Sonic Generations, but it has different levels and whatnot. Not nearly as good as the HD versions of the game. Not nearly as good. But this is a fun little hidden, I don't know, port that's kind of fun. Um, it could really be considered separate games because they're completely different levels, but that's kind of neat. <laughs> There's another forgotten port, as I like to say. Sonic Lost World for the 3DS. This version sucks. I do not like Sonic Lost World on the 3DS. Again, completely different level designs and whatnot. Not necessarily the same level environment. I mean, different level environments. Same level environments. But, I, I mean, Sonic has a snowboard and stuff. That's pretty neat. He even has exclusive wisps. Uh, I do not like this version of the game. Sonic Boom Shattered Crystal. It sucks. It's... <laughs> It's not fun. Um, I'm, I'm not. It's not terrible, like Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric, but it sucks. <laughs> it's just not fun. I, I don't even know what else to say. It's just not a fun game. It's it, you get lost so easily, and it's not good. But what is a fun game, kinda, is Sonic Boom Fire and Ice. I actually think this game is pretty decent. Um, I wouldn't say it's great, but it's actually pretty good. Um, it's pretty fun. Uh, it's just, nobody cared when it came out, because at that point, the Sonic Boom series has, is like, beating a dead horse, but I think, I think this game is pretty good. It just sucks that they released this one last and not, you know, first, but actually, I, I, I don't mind this game. I actually kind of like it. Super Smash Bros. for 3DS. I haven't played this, uh, I just got it, just so I could, just for collecting purposes, um, but... I think it plays pretty much the same as the Wii U, but it has some exclusive mo uh, modes or whatever. So that's pretty neat. Um, but yeah, I haven't played it. New Super Mario Bros. 2. I'll have to give this game another try, man, because I just I don't like it at all. At all. You know, the only fun th stuff about this game is the special worlds. The main game is so incredibly boring, I don't know why. I'll, I might have to give it another try, though, but for now, I do not like New Super Mario Bros. 2. Super Mario 3D Land! I do like this game. I do think it's a good 3D Mario game, better than Sunshine, even. But a lot of people don't like it for some reason, but I, I do like it. It's, it's not a completely, like, you know, 3D 3D game, but it's close enough, and I think it's really good. Mario Kart 7, this is the biggest, like, what, like, mediocre Mario Kart game, because it, do it doesn't really do anything innovative that's different from the rest of the series. I mean, the name isn't even innovative, it just has a 7. I guess it did introduce the hang glider stuff, but that's in Mario Kart 8 now, so that doesn't really matter. So yeah, this game is just kind of good. I mean, it's good, but I can never see myself playing it again. I don't know why the case is open, too. It's like, I don't, I don't know what, what's going on there. Come on. What the heck? Is the case broke? Oh, of course. Of course the monitors turn off. You know what? It's tradition at this point. It's tradition for the monitors to turn off every time we do one of these videos. It's literally tradition. It happens every year. Alright, what's next? Luigi's Mansion. I like this game way better on the GameCube, but the 3DS version is not bad. It's actually really good. It's just the GameCube version is way better, of course. But no, the 3DS version is good. Uh, it's actually how I played the game initially. Um, but, you know, the GameCube version is just way better. But this one has co-op, which was cool. Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. This, along with Luigi's Mansion 3, I do not like. I do not like the mission structure. I do not like that they took out the whole eerie kind of spooky, scary even, aspect of Luigi's Mansion and just replaced, replaced it with, like, I don't know. Just, ooh, ooh, goofy horror, you know, like, ooh, I'm a ghost, you know? Uh, Luigi's Mansion, the original, was actually kind of, like, creepy. This is not. So, 
I don't really like this game at all. It's just, I don't like the straightforward mission structure. I just kind of like how everything was so, like, you know, concise like Luigi's Mansion was. So, nothing will ever top the original Luigi's Mansion. Any, no matter what Nintendo tries to do to revive that series, you know, the original is always going to, unfortunately, be better. Okay, come on. Okay, there we go. What's next? What do we got? Hmm, Wii games. Let's do Wii games. First up, Wii Sports. I don't have a case for this because it came in that little, uh, like, I don't even know, cardboard thing? But Wii Sports. I have it in a standard CD case, but I still have the game, so that's all it. Put that back there. New Super Mario Bros. Wii, my favorite in the new Super Mario Bros. series. Who does not like this game, man? Everybody has played this game, and if you don't think you've played this game before, you have. You know, I'm just telling you right now, you've played this game. It's fun! It's just really fun, especially with friends, and I have a lot of nostalgia for it. Definitely my favorite in the series. Throw that back there. Super Mario Galaxy, my favorite game of all time. This is literally perfect. There is nothing wrong with this game. You know, there's some things that are not so great, like the rolling and the and the the you know where you have to point at the screen to do stuff. That's it though. Everything else about this game is fantastic. It's a 10 out of 10. It's that good. Best game ever made. I I I, I could play Mario Galaxy. Like, I could play that game for the rest of my life and not get bored. Like, that's the only game I could play. I would I would not get bored. Super Mario Galaxy 2, another freaking amazing game. If Mario Galaxy is a 10 out of 10, then this game's a 9.5 out of 10. I don't like it as much as Galaxy 1, but it's still super fun. Super fun game. I just don't know why it's not ported to Switch yet. Like, Nintendo, what's going on, man? What are you doing? Here's my favorite Mario Sports game, Mario Super Sluggers. Man, we had some great games, man. Uh, Mario Super Sluggers. I really like this game. It's fun. I played it with my friends not too long ago, and it's just it's just a fun game. I, I liked the campaign mode, um, and again, a lot of nostalgia, but this is definitely one of my favorite Mario Sports games, if not my favorite. Mario Kart Wii. This used to be my favorite uh, Mario Kart game, but that's not the case anymore. Um, I do think I like Mario Kart 8 better, but this is still really fun, very nostalgic. Um, and uh, this is another game where it's like, if you don't think you've played this game, think again. You've definitely played this game before. Alright, next up we have... Mario Party 8. It's good! I, I think this is my favorite Mario Party game, yes. Good game. The last good Mario Party game, if you will. Definitely the last good Mario Party game. And then it went to crap with Mario Party 9, 10, you know, so on. But this is the last good one. And it's still fun going through here. It's just so outdated for the time it came out, unfortunately. Like, it did not look like a Wii game. Alright, this is a recent pickup. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, the original. Beijing 2008. Uh, this is the original um, Olympic Games game. Uh, that they released. And this one is kind of average. There's not really much in it compared to the other ones. Um, but it's still fun, and I think it's better than Tokyo at least. Tokyo is not fun whatsoever. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games. This is probably my favorite game in the series. Uh, so much fun, especially the story mode. So much fun. It's just I got stuck on it one time. Mario and Sonic at the London 2012 Olympic Games, another really, really fun one. I remember playing this a ton when I was younger. A ton. And I might try and play it again, it's been a while, but, you know, the party, the London party mode or whatever was so much fun. Like, collecting all the stickers, <laughs> dude, I remember that like it was yesterday. So I might try this again, but a very fun game. Donkey Kong Country Returns. I think I haven't played this much. Very difficult, though. And I think it's as regarded as one of the best 2D platformers of all time. In recent modern 2D platformers, well, quote-unquote modern. Um, but I haven't played it in a while, so I might have to try it out again. Again, a lot of these games I have not played much lately. Or at all. But I own them. <laughs> Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Yeah, I played this a ton back in the day. A ton. A crap load. 
Even after Smash for Wii U came out, I still played the heck out of the Subspace Emissary mode. Going, like, beating that mode over and over again. Collecting, like, getting Sonic every time. I did that over and over again. Very fun, man. A lot of fun memories in Smash Bros. Even if people don't really like it that much. Sonic and the Secret Rings. I don't like this game. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Why do people like this game, man? I, especially recently, I've seen a lot of people say they like Sonic and the Secret Rings. I cannot get on board with it, though. It is not playable. It's not even playable. You have to use the motion controls to control him. Not even a playable game. The story has something going for it. The music is really good. The level environments are pretty good, too. The gameplay is so bad, though. Like, I cannot get past the gameplay. It's so bad. The same goes for Sonic and the Black Knight. All of the things I mentioned with Secret Rings apply here, except the controls are a bit better, and you can actually use like a joystick to move Sonic, but it's still not fun, it feels like an auto-runner. So, I do not like Secret Rings or Black Knight. They tried to use the Wii Remote too much, and that ruined the games. Ruined them. Don't like those games. Sonic Unleashed, the Wii version. The difference is this is like Lost World and Generations, where this version of the game is completely different from the HD versions. Um, and it's good, I guess. It's not as good as the HD versions, if you ask me. It's much more streamlined, um, and the level design is not nearly as good, not nearly as fun, but it's decent. Sonic Colors! I think... Ah, oh, man. I've said for the longest time that this is my favorite Sonic game, and it was my first Sonic game, but I think I like Unleashed better. Um, after playing this and Colors Ultimate recently. I think I just like Sonic Colors better, man. Such a fun game. Such a good soundtrack. Very fun gameplay. I think Unleashed takes it, though, unfortunately. I say unfortunately as if they're not my opinions. Like, <laughs> unfortunately this game is better. Unfortunately this game is bad, you know. <laughs> but some people probably don't think it's bad. <laughs> Alright, we play. Um... You know what? I like this game a lot. Really fun. Came with a Wii Remote too. How could you not like that? It's a fun mini game collection, and this is one of the only Wii series games that I actually really enjoy. And I think it's one of the only Wii series games that a lot of people enjoy. The other ones, besides Wii Sports, of course, kind of suck. Epic Mickey 2, The Power of 2. This game is boring. I'm not even gonna lie, this game is boring. It's not fun. Um, it's pretty boring. Yeah. I don't like it. <laughs> Sorry, but it's not fun. I think the original Epic Mickey, and I might buy that game, but the original Epic Mickey was way better, and this one just kind of sucks. It has multiplayer, though, so that's something. Tangled on the Wii. I don't know why I have this. It's not... I don't know. I Don't, don't ask me. I don't know why I have it. I've never played it. I probably never will. Oh, we're getting into the shovelware, guys. I can see what game is next. <laughs> Monster 4x4 World Circuit. I don't even know if this game works. I haven't even tested it. I don't even remember, but this is one of those shovelware games that you find in the clearance bin at GameStop. That's probably where I found this game, actually. Never played it. SpongeBob Plankton's Robotic Revenge. I actually have played this game a bit, and I think I got stuck on the first boss, uh, but it was okay. Nothing else to say. I don't really care to play it ever again. Okay, so this game was actually... And I, I own all the Skylanders games, but... Skylanders Spire's Adventure was actually a big part of my childhood. Um, and I liked it. I'm pro it's pro it's just, at the end of the day, uh, it's just your standard kids game. But putting the toys on the portal was like the coolest thing ever back then. Um, and I might revisit it someday. I don't think I have any of the actual, like, Skylanders anymore, but I still have the games. And I have every Skylanders game. Uh, I just haven't played all of them. I just collected this one. Skylanders Giants, I got this one for collecting purposes recently. And, again, I haven't played it, um, but I think people like it. And, yeah, that's all my Wii games. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, those are all of my Wii games. Holy crap, I have a ton of Wii games. It is literally, you can't see it, but it's literally stacking, like, on my desk right now. I have to be very careful not to drop these. Okay. Hold up, how are we going to do this? Oh god. Okay. Very, very slowly. Oh. Alright, here we go. Very, very gently. Place them on the foot. Don't drop. Okay, okay we're fine. We're good. <laughs> Almost dropped them. 
All right, now Wii U, right? Wii U? I think it's Wii U, right? Yeah, we only have Wii U and Switch left, so it's Wii U. All right, here we go. Skylander Swap Force. Um, you know, I've only played like the first level over and over again for some reason. I don't know why. And I don't remember it at all. So, yeah, there's Skylander's Swap Force. Don't remember that game. Skylander's Trap Team. Also, don't remember this game. I think I only played like the first level for some reason. Don't like this game. Alright, what's the next one? What's, what's the next one in the Skylanders series? Skylander Superchargers. At this point, I just bought this game because it had Donkey Kong in it, and I played five minutes of it. Alright, next up, just, just, just absolutely going through these Skylanders games right now. Skylanders Imaginators. <laughs> Never played this game, bought it to complete the Skylanders series. This was the last Skylanders game. And by this point, they are probably done because it wasn't making the money anymore. But yeah, that was the Skylanders series. All right, now on to some actual good games. New Super Mario Brothers U. I think this is a good game. I think this is a really good game. It's not, it's kind of not the best, but especially after all the other games came out, but I think it's still a good game in the series nonetheless. Definitely a good launch title for the Wii U. New Super Luigi U. I got this game physically because it's cool. Uh, this was DLC for New Super Mario Bros. U, where you play as Luigi that got completely different levels. And I think it is better than New Super Mario Bros. U, it's definitely more challenging, definitely more unique, um, it's definitely more fun. Uh, so yeah, I like this game a lot. Mario Kart 8! You know, man, I think this is my favorite Mario Kart game, um, especially Deluxe with the Booster Pass and all that good stuff. Uh, but yeah, there's Mario Kart 8. I think this is my favorite game, Mario Kart game. Um, it had not really a long life on the Wii U, though. Uh, <laughs> I think it only lasted like three years on the Wii U before they just shut down all updates for it. Because, of course, they released it on the Switch. But it's still a fun game. And it's still, you know, it's still a fun game to play on the Wii U, too, even if you don't get all the new stuff that Deluxe has. Super Mario 3D World. Okay, man. I love this game so much. I, I, I think it's probably... I, it is better than 3D Land, it is better than Sunshine, I don't know if it's better than Bowser's Fury though. I don't know about that yet. I think Bowser's Fury is a bit too short, but I, I still like Mario 3D World a lot. Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. I don't like this game, I don't know why. Uh, the Captain Toad levels in 3D World as a side thing were fine, but as a standalone game, I don't really like it. I even have the Switch version, and I don't really like it, so I don't know. I don't know. Yoshi's Woolly World. I want them to port this to Switch so badly. Why haven't they ported this to Switch yet? Why, Nintendo? Why? I don't know. I don't know. They had to make freaking Crafted World or whatever. Trash game. This game is so fun, though. So fun. Want that on Switch, like, so much. Mario Maker. You know what? On popular opinion, but I think I actually like Mario Maker 1 better than Mario Maker 2. I know Mario Maker 2 just has more stuff. But, I don't know, I think it's lacking a certain charm that Mario Maker 1 had. But yeah, I, I have a lot of fond memories of this game. And, uh, well, like, I don't really want to play it anymore because Mario Maker 2 exists. Uh, but yeah, I have a lot of fond memories playing this game. And that's, I think that's the main reason why I like it better. Mario and Sonic at the Sochi 2014 Olympic Games. Definitely the worst out of the Winter Olympics. Definitely, probably actually the worst Olympic Games game, period in the Mario and Sonic series. Um, cause it's just not fun. It, they took out a lot of the charm that the other games had, especially with the previous winter games. So yeah, I don't like this one. I think I only played it for around 20 minutes cause it just wasn't fun. Okay. All right. So this was a recent pickup for me and having serious buyer's remorse. So take, take a guess on how much I spent on this game. Mario and Sonic at the Rio 2016 Olympic games. This is definitely now the rarest game I own. Um, and the price I spent on this just to complete the Mario and Sonic collection, the price I spent on this is unspoken. But I think this game is just mediocre in most people's eyes. But, you know, it was the last decent Mario and Sonic game, I think. 
God help me, I did not spend a healthy amount of money on that game. Get another big stack of games here. Sonic Lost World. I actually think this game is very underrated. Very underrated. I like this game. Don't know why people hate it so much. The story and the writing and the level environments are basic, generic, and boring. But the gameplay is super fun. And I have a lot of nostalgia for this game. Sonic Boom Rise of Leon. <laughs> Sonic. Sonic Boom. <laughs> Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric. It's garbage. It's garbage. Get it out of my face. I thought. You know what? You know what? I played that game. I checked. I checked the other day. I played this game for a total of 50 hours. Because when it first came out, I. My dumb child self only saw it as another Sonic game to play on the Wii U. So I played the crap out of it. After playing it on stream, I think over a year ago now, I don't like it. I, you know what, when we started playing it on stream, I actually thought I, you know, kind of liked it. And I remembered absolutely nothing from the game, because it was that forgettable. But I actually kind of sort of liked it when we first played it on stream, but as we played more and more of it, I, I had to cancel streaming it, because it was just so bad. So bad. Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transformed. I think this is the best out of the Sonic Racing trilogy of games. Um, definitely the best one. It has a lot. It has a bunch of fan service, which is what I really like. It still has the Sega characters in it as well. Very fun game. Splatoon. Um, I have Splatoon 2 as well, uh, but I didn't play that one that much. And I got this, I think, at, right before Splatoon 2 came out. Um, so I just went and played Splatoon 2 instead. But Splatoon 1, I think, is decent. I played a bunch of the multiplayer. I didn't really play any of the story mode, but I think it's a fun game. Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. I played a ton of this game, man. A ton of it. Hours upon hours of Smash for Wii U. And I have a lot of fond memories with it, but it's probably the most generic Smash Bros. game out there. I mean, the title says it all. It's just Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. It doesn't really have anything special going for it. But it was fun, man. It was super fun. Alright, I'm gonna move these games out of my way so I don't like... So it doesn't freaking crash and fall everywhere. Oh god. Uh, fall, fall. Disney Infinity. Um, I mean, it was fun. You know what? I don't like how there's not any, like, classic Disney characters in it, but it was fun. I liked playing in the toy box mode or whatever back then, but, uh, nowadays, hasn't aged well at all. I don't even think it's supported anymore. Probably not. I, I don't know why I didn't ask that. It's not. Disney Infinity 2.0. I played, like, five minutes of this. It's literally the exact same thing as Disney Infinity, but it has Marvel stuff in it, I think. I haven't played that much at all. Lego Dimensions, I think I got this just for the Sonic DLC, and I only played five minutes of that, because <laughs> I don't really like Lego games that much, and this was no exception. But it was, it was cool how you like had to build everything, though. That was kind of neat. Lego Mar Marvel Super Heroes, haven't played it. Alright, so, wait, we still have more Wii U games. Okay, hold up, we're not done yet. We're almost done with the Wii U games. Lego Movie Video Game, another Lego game that I do not like. I'm just not a fan of Lego games. Minecraft Story Mode. You know what? I actually have a soft spot for this game. Um, it's not that great. Um, it, there's some, a lot of problems with it. Uh, but I, I have a lot of memories with it. And you know what? I think it's fun. I think it's pretty fun. Um, just not for a marathon. To play this game like maybe 30 minutes at a, at a time because it could get boring very quickly. It's a story driven game. That's, when the story is not good in a story driven game, then that's when the game is bad. Nintendo Land. This came bundled with most Wii U's. Mine didn't. Mine actually came bundled with the Mario U plus Luigi U bundle, which got scratched up, so that's why I have the game separately now. But I bought this at, like, a local game store for, like, two bucks, and it was a deal, I thought, so I just got it. And I haven't played it, but you know what? It's good to have it for the collection. So, I think, yep, those are all the Wii U games. Alright, so all that is left now are the Switch games. Alright, here we go. Physical Switch games. Not doing digital this year. Only physical stuff. Alright, here we go. Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. You know what? I actually like this game. I stopped playing it though because I just got bored. But I did like it. I did think it was fun. It's just I just did not, you know, I, I didn't really care to continue playing it though. 1-2 Switch. This, I think, is the first game I bought for the Switch because it really had nothing to play. And it was fun, you know, with friends and stuff. I was fun playing with my brother and that kind of thing, but, uh, 
it sucks. <laughs> it's not good. It's, it should have been included with the Switch as a demo instead of a $40 game. But you know what? It's there. I have it now. Sonic Colors Ultimate. I also have this game on PS5, but I bought the Switch version to have it physically for one and for two. So I could play it on the go. And it sucks. It's not... I, I, I think Sonic Colors is a really good game. This is not a good way to play it, in my opinion. This is... You know what? It's probably the definitive official way to play it. But it's so buggy. And it's still very buggy. They haven't fixed, like, any major bugs in over a year. Mario Golf Super Rush. Very fun to play with friends. Playing it solo is not fun at all. But playing this game with friends is very fun. I play it with my friends all the time. Very fun game to play with friends, though. And, you know, I've said that, like, three times now. Very fun. Just not by yourself. Because the story mode is trash. Mario Strikers Battle League. I have not played this game yet, but I want to try it out because Mario Strikers looks really cool. And um, I think people say this game is mediocre, but I still want to try it out because look at that. Just look at that, man. It looks freaking freaking awesome. Mario Party Superstars. Another game that is not fun alone, but is fun with friends. I think this is a step in the right direction for Mario Party, but it's still not great. Nintendo Switch Sports. Definitely a disappointment. Um, when this got announced, I was very excited because I thought it was just going to recreate Wii Sports. It did not. I don't like Nintendo Switch Sports. And the Miis not being the front, you know, like the main thing going on here, you know what I'm saying? Not fun. Not good, man. I don't like Nintendo Switch Sports. And they just released, like, the golf update. <laughs> I think they just released golf just now. And, and the game came out, like, way earlier this year, I think. It's crazy. Mario and Sonic at the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games. I hope they just stop making these because this one sucked. It was so boring. I just, I just hope they stop making them because they're not fun anymore. Yoshi's Crafted World. Well, you know what, man? It sucks. <laughs> it's not fun. Um, you know, uh, it's charming. It's cute, but it just, it just lacks something that Woolly World had. And Woolly World was just so much better. I could not finish this game, but Woolly World was so much fun. Why couldn't they just port Woolly World, man? Minecraft Story Mode Season 2. Better than Season 1 if you ask me, but... Eh. Eh. <laughs> on the Switch, it's fine. But if you're going to play this game, play it on PC if you can. Oh, crap, I just dropped it. But, eh. Minecraft Story Mode, just more. Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, this game is trash. I don't know why it is this way. It was, it should have been easy buckets, man. A remake of one of the most good Pokemon games of all time. You didn't even have to make anything new, just remake it. They ruined it somehow. I haven't played much of it, but they ruined it somehow. Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. I started playing this game and I liked it. But I stopped playing it because I didn't feel like playing it anymore. But I still think the game is good. Um... It's just I didn't feel like playing it anymore. <laughs> that's it. All right, guys, but that's my full game collection, 2023 edition. So yeah, um, that's it for today's video, guys. So thank you all so much for watching. Uh, this is, I guess I'll see you guys next year when I do this again. Uh, hopefully I'll have even more games. But uh, yeah, it's only going to keep growing from here. And of course, I'm not doing the digital Switch games this year, as I've already said. But uh, yeah, that's my last video of 2022, I think. So I guess I'll see you all next year. Goodbye.